Welcome back to the Road Show this morning in the Buzz. Starting this fall, all Provincetown, Massachusetts public school students will have access to condoms. Here's the shocking part. That still includes elementary school students. Now, the town school committee unanimously approved the plan that will allow students to get condoms in school without their parents knowing about it. Supporters say the idea teaches children about responsibility, but opponents argue it's the parents' job to teach children about sex, not the school's. So what do you guys think about this, you know, first graders having access to condoms? Well, I have a second grader going into third grade, and this, <clears throat> I can't believe it. I mean, I just, it just shocks me. I mean, you know, he, I'm still trying to teach him what, like, you know, what, what like a Phillips head screwdriver does. Right, you know, right. I mean, let's, let's right. be honest here. I mean, it, that word would never even come up in conversation. Yeah. And the fact that it's, who are the adults that are endorsing this nonsense? That's I mean, I'd like to, idea. I want to hear, I want to see them on camera. Yeah. I, want to, I want to understand what their mindset is and what they're thinking, that this is actually going to help prevent, you know, pregnancies and, 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 and give them a sexual education. I mean, for God's sakes, it's, it's unbelievable. What do you think, Michelle? I think even more shocking than that, and that's, pretty shocking is that one a parent can't call and say hey I don't want my six-year-old to get a condom and two six six-year-old right and the other thing is is that um, the school doesn't even notify the parents if a student comes in and asks for a condom in that age I mean junior high middle school high school you can make an argument I guess but elementary school I mean it just seems absurd. Uh, I, I think, you know, in a lot of these cases where we, we talk about something where we on the panel kind of have a clear yes and no, I, I try to, you know, figure out, okay, what's the opposite side? Other side thinking, right. right. I, I'm really at a loss yeah. here. I truly am. The only thing that I can think of is that maybe, you know, if we use the word condom in elementary school and certain kids uh, have it and they are not using it for sexual reasons and they are, uh, I'm even embarrassed to talk about this. There are some CVS uh, classes. The kids that I just interviewed, right? I'm embarrassed to talk 12. about this. They're twelve. They're twelve, and I'm yeah, uncomfortable. But in any case, maybe the thinking is if we have, if you have condoms that kids can, even if they're joking around with them and they have them and they're using the word and they're they know what they look like, then the stigma of asking for them when you're a little bit older is removed. Maybe that's it. I, I don't know. I think what they were saying is, where do they cut off the age? Yeah. You know, and I think that was, it was like, is it fifth grade? Is it sixth grade? Fourth grade? Yeah. Where is that age cut off now? And I think certainly the majority of fourth and fifth and maybe even sixth graders aren't talking about sex, don't know about it, but I guess their point was, where do you cut it off? Yeah. Well. I don't know. I mean, let the parents decide. Yeah. That. The thing is, a lot of, in a lot of cases, you know, when you say let the parents t teach the kids about sex, I totally agree. But many aren't. Many are not having that conversation, and many of them are waiting until they think, oh, well, 15 is a good age to start right. talking about it. When a lot of these kids are doing other sexual things, sexual acts, uh, at 12 years old and and younger. So, you know, I I don't think it can be just left on the parents. Although I wish it could be, but it, it's a difficult uh, line to walk. I guess I'm, when I'm sitting here just in stunned silence is just imagining my son, who will be in third grade, coming home from school and saying, Daddy, what's this thing? It's a water balloon, right. son. Have right. a nice yeah. day. Let's right. put water in it and go pop it. I mean, yeah. it's like, I just, it doesn't even, it, it just doesn't compute. There's so many other things that, you know, are, are, the mind is so fragile at that age and the things that they absorb and they need to know. Let's work on division tables yeah. and multiplication right. and reading before we get to this heavy hitting stuff because, you know, it's just... You know, my son said the other day, he's like, I'm trying to squeeze out a two. Like, he had, a, he had a gas. And I was like, don't say that. You definitely don't say that outside this house. But, uh, you know, multiply, multiply that. You know, uh, yeah, so I say that on TV. But multiply that times a million when he yeah. comes home and says, hey, Dad, tell me about these condom yeah. things. Well, you know, Courtney Calagiri, um, I knew a third grader who asked his dad what a condom was. And his dad responded, uh, it's like an apartment, only you buy it. Buy it. He just gave him the definition of a condo. Condo, right, yeah. <laughs> to avoid the whole thing. And you can rent it, too. Yeah. I'll yeah. tell you, folks on the live blog definitely agree. They're thinking this elementary school thing is just out of this world ridiculous. So we have like 37 comments on Facebook. I'm just going to try and rush through a few of them here starting on the blog as usual on foxprovidence.com. And TDE Rock said, I'm all for giving kids access to condoms, but not as young as elementary school. That should wait until junior high. And Smokey Wolf says, I feel they should have condoms for ages 15 and up, but I don't believe they should have them for smaller children and the ages of 4 through 14. That is going way too far. She says, I know kids get curious, but come on now. Here 
here's our poll right underneath the live blog. What do you think about contraceptives being available to elementary students? Choices are A, it's never too early to teach safe sex, or B, the kids are too young and it's absurd. Here's a snapshot of our Facebook page. There's so many comments. I'm trying to read through them. I'd like to see someone actually for this policy. Maybe we can read that at the end of the show. And Karen Trinke says, give me a break in elementary schools. She says, come on, parents, start parenting so schools won't have to take these measures. Lauren Silva says, middle school, middle school fine. I agree with that, but entry elementary school is absurd and then um, Donna Stanley said let our children be children for goodness sake what is going on taking toys out of Happy Meals and handing kids condoms instead that's craziness so again if you uh, feel differently come on the live blog or on Facebook we'll share your comment at the end of the show and that's when we'll have the poll results but for now we're gonna head into the